Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and uh, this is a little uh, explanation of one of the things to be careful when you buy a radio on uh, the internet and especially Texan branded receivers. Texan has some great radios out there but one of the problems with uh, the receivers is that they are often two versions of the same radio. One for the Chinese market and one for the export market. Now the one for the Chinese market often is the same version but especially for those that have been there for a long time. So if you purchase an old uh, like a PL680 or 600 these have been on sale for such a long time that there's no problem purchasing it in one website rather than another. Where it really makes a difference is on anything that is new. For example, a lot of you have been looking at the latest Texan, which uh, resembles the uh, Texan PL365, but has a keypad. I believe it's Texan PL368, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and a lot of you are asking, oh, well, you know, it's available on AliExpress. Should I buy it? Uh, well, that's the thing. Um, one of the things you should do when you actually buy a radio from Texan is verify Anonco rather than AliExpress. The reason why is that Anonco is the distributor of the Texan receivers. And if it's not in the list of Anonco, if it's not available here at Anonco, chances are what you're seeing at other websites like AliExpress, for example, are the Chinese version, not the official uh, release and production run version and that is one of the things that a lot of you um, are looking at and of course if you don't know what's gonna happen is you might get a Chinese version that has bugs in it. Another example the Texan PL330 is now out and Anonco of course proudly talks about it and gives you you know information about the Texan PL330. Uh, it is at Anonco officially at the correct version, and this is the you know export version. The firmware is at 3305. After a certain time, it's probably going to be like that for everywhere where you're purchasing it. The problem is, if you buy it from AliExpress, for example, you might not get the official same version. You have to be very careful. If you buy it anywhere else, do ask what version it is, what revision it is. Make sure that you're getting the real deal, not the older Chinese version that still has bugs in it. So that's why when people say, well, you know, I buy from AliExpress, be careful, because AliExpress has a lot of the Chinese versions with older firmware that have bugs. I mean, not everything. Some are okay, but you need to verify, you need to make sure and honestly, if I would buy a Texan branded receiver that is brand new, um, Anonco is the only way to go personally because it's the only one that you can trust will have the official export version. And if Anonco does not have a receiver that you actually are looking are on uh, AliExpress, you can actually be sure that it's still not in production and it's still only Chinese version. So it's very important to understand that. So Anonco is pretty much the way to go for any Texan branded receiver. Except, yes, you can buy somewhere else if, you know, for radios that are multi-year. If you have like a Texan PL680, for example. The only versions available now are the ones that have been, you know, in production for years now. So there's no danger in that. But anything that is brand new, uh, make sure that you have the, the right version and Anonco is pretty much the only place you can be sure that you have the correct version. And um, if it's not on Anonco, it's for sure just a Chinese version that could still have bugs, technically. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.